Γεια σας φίλες και φίλοι μου, καλημέρα. Welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Stalo and today we are going to talk about the difference between Hellas and Greece. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Both Hellas and Greece refer to the same country, this one. The name Hellas is a transliteration of Elas, which is the Greek name of the country and the official name of Greece in the European Union. So in Greek, the word we use is Elas or Elada for the country and Elines for the people. The word Greece was adopted by the Romans and is the name commonly used in other European languages. Both names have Greek roots. Hellas or Elas in Greek is associated with Helen. The Greek word is Elin. And Greece is associated with Grecus. The Greek word is Grecos. Let's take a look. Helen or Elin in Greek was the son of Deucalion, Defkalion in Greek, and Pyrrha. In Greek mythology, Deucalion and Pyrrha were the only two people who survived the big flood. After they survived, Zeus ordered them to gather as many rocks as they could and throw them behind them as a way to repopulate the country. The rocks that Deucalion threw became men and the rocks that Pyrrha threw became women. Those were the first Greeks who inhabited Greece again. The first rock that Deucalion threw became their son, Helen, Elin. He is considered the founding father of all Greeks. Helen had a sister, Pandora, Pandora. Pandora married Zeus and they had a son, Grecus, Grecos in Greek. So Grecus, Grecos, was the son of Zeus and Pandora. In Aristotle, we have the first surviving written use of Greci. He wrote that the area around the Oracle of Dodoni was inhabited by a group of people who had been called Greci, but were called Hellens by his time. There's another theory that the group of people who founded a colony in southern Italy identified themselves as Greci, meaning from Grea. The Romans adopted this name, Greci, and used it to refer to all Greeks. So, in Greek, the name of the country is Ielas or Ielada, and the name of the people, Ielines, Ielines. So we would say, Ime Elinas, I am Greek, the masculine form. Ime Elinas. In the plural, Imaste Elines, we are Greeks, masculine form. Imaste Elines. Ime Elinida, I am Greek, the feminine form. Ime Elinida. And the plural, Imaste Elinides. We are Greeks, the feminine form. Imaste Elinides. Let's see the different cases of the word Elas. Nominative, Ielas or Ielada. Ielas is the formal 
form coming from the ancient Greek. Genitive, tis eladas, tis eladas. Accusative, tin elada, tin elada. And vocative, no article, elada, elada. Sometimes I hear people say, I don't know when to use elas and when to use elada. So let's look at some examples to clarify that. Here we have the nominative case, y elas or y elada. A nominative case is the subject case. So, y elas ine poli omorfi hora. Or, y elada ine poli omorfi hora. Greece is a very beautiful country. So, y elas is very formal. You don't have to use y elas, you can just use y elada. Genitive, which shows possession, tis eladas. Tanistia, tis eladas, ine monadica. The islands of Greece are unique. Tanistia, tis eladas, ine monadica. Accusative is a direct object case. Tin elada. Agapo tin elada. I love Greece. Agapo tin elada. And vocative, which is used for direct address. No article, just elada. Elada ise i patridamu. Greece, you are my homeland. Elada ise i patridamu. You may be wondering why Hellas has an H. In order to answer that, we have to talk about two terms which are very important in the Greek language. The two terms are polytonic system and monotonic system. The polytonic system was in effect until 1982. Then, in an attempt to simplify the Greek language, the way the, way the Greek language was written and spelled, the Greeks created the monotonic system, which became the official orthography in 1982. In the polytonic system, there were three accents, toni. The acute, oxia, like this. The grave, varia, like this. And the circumflex, perispomeni, like this. And there were also two breathings, pneumata. The soft breathing, psili, like this. And the rough breathing, Dasia, like this. All the words that started with a vowel had to have a breathing, either a soft or a rough breathing, on that vowel. In the monotonic system, there is only one accent, tonos, and that's why it's called monotonic, as opposed to polytonic, many accents, many toni. So in the monotonic system, we have one accent, the acute, oxia. And there are zero breathings, no breathings, no pneumata. The rough breathing of the polytonic system was always replaced by an H in English because in ancient Greek, the rough breathing sounded almost like an H. This is how we spell elas in ancient Greek and in the polytonic system of modern Greek. 
And you see the epsilon has a rough breathing, the sia, and that's why in English we replace this, the sia, this breathing, with h, hellas. And there are many, many examples in English. Harmony, helicopter, Helen, hero, hemisphere, etc. And here is a table of the Greek alphabet. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Ευχαριστώ. Γεια σας.